So having water that's polluted in exactly that manner, in my opinion, will result in three major problems that need to be considered. First is the alteration of the pH. Normal uh, water, neutral water, should be around pH 6.8 or 7. And as the research shows, or as the study shows, the water is actually around 9, which means it's several thousand times too, or more basic than normal. This ca uh, causes a huge problem for fish and wildlife that would like to live in that water, um, making it completely uninhabitable. Kind of like um, living in a smokestack for a human. Um, the second would be the turbidity of the water, or how, how cloudy the water is. Um, and since uh, turbidity absorbs light and makes the water opaque, plants that are at the, at the bottom of the, of the water will be less able to get light, and when they're less able to get light, they are less able to grow. And that has an implication for the fish and other animals and other plants even that uh, form, form a symbiotic relationship uh, with those plants. And the third um, would be the chemical contaminants that are most likely found in this water as a result of the palm processing, palm oil processing. These chemical contaminants will get into the wildlife um, and ultimately into drinking water and people's food, causing a wide range of health problems. Um, that need to be further studied and documented in order to really understand. However, you don't need to ex understand exactly what kind of sickness will result in order to understand that it will result in sickness. So, so I believe the second question was, um, what are my, um, my suggestions in order to overcome this problem? Um, in my personal opinion, uh, this is a big problem that's not unique only to this one particular factory in this one particular river and it's something that happens all over this country. And in order to regulate that, the, a government agency must be set up independent of politics, which is extremely important so that if power changes hands from one party to another, um, the agency will continue to be effective and the policies that it makes will continue to be enforced. This agency um, needs to work with the industries um, and with environmental groups in order to find out what exactly the problems are and find the best solutions to those problems. Uh, in order to ensure that uh, industries concerning or industries uh, that these regulations would apply to are following through, they must have the political teeth, like a kunad gigi. To fine these companies significant amounts of, amounts of money, um, and not just small arbitrary or or uh, ceremonial fines, but fines that really cut into these companies' profit margins, so they take them seriously. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lane. Glad to help. Okay.